G'day guys, Tom here from Origin Canine. So today we're going to talk about the general purpose harness. We're going to go over the purpose of the harness, some of the sizing and fitting aspects, uh, and also some of the functions and features contained in the harness. Okay, so the purpose of the general purpose harness um, is it was going to be an in-between between the lightweight harness and our full-size tactical vest, the canine TV. Um, now the aim was to achieve a little bit of both for people who aren't exactly looking for the lightweight harness and who don't want the full-size tactical vest, uh, vest and that could come down to things like heat consideration, weight and some of the functions you get between the two designs. Um, so some of the main differences are going to be the molly panels on the side and the velcro and a little bit when it comes to the fitting of the general purpose harness. Okay, so when it comes to fitting the general purpose harness, you want to do the same thing as the lightweight harness. So that means I want you to loosen all the straps as far as they can possibly go so you've got as much room to move your dog into this and then you can adjust whilst, it's, whilst your dog is wearing it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to undo the two cobra buckles, okay? So it's going to be open like this. You're going to slide the large part over your dog's head. Now the dog model obviously is stiff so it requires a little bit more movement than your real dog would. Now once it's on the dog, just lay it flush like that. You're going to pull the two bottom parts of the cobra buckle through and you're going to clip them up on either side. Now the way that I've done this, I've got to make a little bit of an adjustment. The way I've done this is that you'll notice when the vest is on, it's a little bit too far forward. It's sort of pushing into the back of the dog's neck. When you do this, I want you to go through underneath the dog's chest to the middle adjustment. Take it out and I want you to adjust it as loose as it can possibly go. And then from there, that's gonna bring the harness back up the dog and a little bit away from the neck. It's a little bit different on a live dog, but this dog obviously doesn't move. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust the two side pieces. So the two cobble buckles like this, you can do one at a time or grab both at the same time and just pull them down. Once it hits a cinch point and you can't go further, just lay the Velcro down onto itself like this so the excess is stayed. Now at this point, if you've released your front as much as it can go and your uh, centre as much as it can go, that may be all that you need to do. However, if you do need to make other adjustments, simply do the exact same thing for the front pieces, pull them through the triglides, put the Velcro down like that, and if the vest is a little bit too far back, I want you to grab this centre one, take it off, tighten it up, and as you can see, it pulls the vest forward a little bit more. And that's how you're going to fit the general purpose harness. So in terms of the features of the general purpose harness, the first and most obvious one is going to be the large uh, space you've got on the side that is covered by Velcro and also has these MOLLE panels. Now MOLLE stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment and that's a standard way that we attach things, one piece of equipment to another um, when it comes to the soft material like nylon in the military and the police. It's a very standard system. It's just a matter of weaving the two pieces through each other um, but we'll probably do another video about that later. So that's probably one of the main differences between the lightweight harness and the general purpose harness. So you've got some more space for patches and pouches. Okay, so now as you look at the top of the harness, what you're going to find is this uh, handle that's going to go the length of the dog's back, running from the head down to the bum. And that's so that you can grab the handle ambidextrously. Um, you don't have to worry about going to the front or the back. It's going to be universal, easy to grab. That's going to mean that you can suitcase carry your dog, whether you're lifting over fences, obstacles, or you've got an injury and you just need to move your dog to an area quickly. The other thing you're going to notice is at the front and at the back, you've got two different attachment points for your lead, right? The reason we do this is because some people like the option to run their dog tracking-wise from the front, or whether it's agitation, or they prefer to do it at the back. Now, sometimes with the steel, it can make a bit of noise. Some people don't like that, so you've got the silent option at the front there. So when it comes to tracking, walking, agitation, load carriage, you've got a couple of options there. So that's it guys, that's the general purpose harness. As you can tell, it's a conjurer between the lightweight harness and the full size tactical, uh, tactical vest. It is nice and lightweight, it is cool, it does dissipate heat, uh, heat, it does have a little bit of extra room for patches and pouches, but it's not the full size bulky tactical vest. So you get a bit of an in-between with this one. So if you like one of these, go to origincanine.com and look for the general purpose harness.